Springboks fans, we've got some interesting news coming from the world of rugby, and it involves none other than Warren Gatland, the head coach of Wales. Gatland has raised some concerns about the consistency of head injury assessments during the Rugby World Cup. He's not too happy about it, and even hinted that our Springbok coaches might have used them to their advantage. Before our epic World Cup semi-final clash against England, Gatland cautioned England's coaching staff about what he called Rassi Erasmus's and Jacques Nianaba's dark arts. He mentioned that to stand a chance against the Springboks, you need to be physically matched, but also tactically smart and mentally strong. I know what it is like to go head-to-head -head with South Africa's director of rugby, and my advice to Steve Borthwick would be to make sure he gets on the front foot and combat any dark arts, Gatland wrote in his column for The Telegraph at the time. To have any chance against the Springboks, you must attempt to not just match them physically, but also be tactically smart and show no sign of mental weakness. Later in the column, the Wales boss suggested that Borthwick should highlight the number of HIAs South Africa had in the quarter-final clash with France, with Dwayne Vermeulen, Peter Steph Dutois, and Bongi Mbonambi being assessed during the 29-28 win over France. I am not questioning whether they were legitimate or not, but there have been people out there speculating about it, and I would certainly be putting it out there and highlighting that it looked unusual and raising questions about the protocol, he added. And now Gatland has decided to take matters into his own hands, despite admitting that he has kind of drawn a line under their World Cup campaign. I've asked my medical staff to go back to World Rugby to give me some clarity on an incident like the Nick Tompkins one against Argentina, which wasn't a penalty or a yellow card, but he still had to come off in that situation for a HIA, Gatland said, head of Wales clash with the Barbarians this weekend. I need to know then in that situation, why didn't Jesse Creel have to come off for a HIA or Ardi Surveyor? Those are more the things I'm a little bit more concerned about. All Blacks captain Sam Kane hit Creel head high in a tackle during the first half of the final and was red carded after a review from the foul play review bunker. Meanwhile, Surveyor was on the receiving end of Sia Colisi's high tackle, which resulted in a yellow card. So, what do you think, Springboks fans? Is Gatland right to question these HIAs? Share your thoughts in the comments, hit that like button, and subscribe to Springbox News for more rugby updates.